Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt with the Movement System. Today we're going to talk about daily undulating periodization. So we're going to, in this video, break down the goals of periodization in general, which is primarily to manipulate our training variables to progress a certain physiological trait. And we're going to break down the difference between the linear model and the undulating model here and how we can do that. And if you stick around till the end of the video, we'll actually give you a daily undulating periodization program that looks just like this. And I'll tell you how you can download that. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so to lay the groundwork, let's talk about the differences between linear periodization and daily undulating periodization. And I'm gonna to try to make this as practical as possible. So with a linear periodization model, what we're typically doing is periodizing or building blocks of training that build upon one another towards a physiological peak. So here's what that might look like at the macro cycle level for a shot put athlete. And this is something that I just drew up that's block by block and it's primarily linear periodization here with two peaks. One peak is in February and then one peak, the primary peak, is in May. And what you'll see here is that in this program, we're taking June and then we're completely resting or relative rest, that's considered our postseason. And then we're moving into a GPP phase. And this is kind of our early off season. And then we're moving into more hypertrophy focused work for a few months and then in towards a strength phase and then moving to power and then our first peak in February. So this is the traditional linear periodization model where our volume is slowly going down, our intensity is slowly going up and then we're basically building block upon block to build the trait of power and peak that in season. So within these actual months or blocks of training, for example, if we jump into say September, what you'll see here is the focus of that block is hypertrophy. So we might be seeing sets of 10, 12, 15. Um, so maybe week one of September, we're doing four sets of 12 at say 67% one rep max. And that obviously can be varied. Uh, maybe we have later in the week up to 75% or in the middle of the week, 72%. Um, but we're primarily using the same set and rep scheme. So about the same three sets of 10 to 12, uh, throughout the week and then primarily we're just manipulating the percent one rep max by a little bit So we're fluctuating that a little bit, but not huge variations So what I'm trying to show you is that even within this linear periodization model You're gonna have small fluctuations or small undulations with the same primary physiological target within each of those blocks of training Okay, so now how does daily undulating periodization compare? Well, Daily undulating periodization is a technique where we're actually going to have different physiological focuses on different days of the week. So in this program, which you're gonna be able to download, we can see here a power day, a strength day, and a hypertrophy day. And this means that within one training block, we are going to be doing certain days where we're gonna have higher volume, certain days we're gonna have moderate volume, and certain days we're gonna have low volume, but high intensity. So this is quite different from the block model where we're focusing on just hypertrophy for four weeks or six weeks and then moving to just strength for four or six weeks. In the daily undulating periodization model, we're training multiple physiological characteristics within one training block. So the question you're probably asking right now is which one's better or which one should I do? And that I'm not going to answer for you because there's really no clear answer of which one specifically is better. It's more about how you apply it. So for example, if you're a CrossFit athlete and you want to be able to peak multiple characteristics, so you want to be able to express hypertrophy, power, endurance, uh, strength to some extent, but not specifically peak one physiological variable, I think undulating really, really well applies to that type of an athlete. Um, even other athletes that you can think about, um, like a, even a football player, we're gonna have to have like maybe power, um, some ability to like change direction, um, but also strength. So athletes that need to express multiple characteristics, I personally apply a daily undulating periodization model to those athletes a little bit more. Athletes, for example, like a shot putter that really just need to peak one physiological variable, I think the linear model does have maybe a little bit better carryover to that athlete because they can spend four, six, eight uh, months in the off season, maybe even and build hypertrophy and then the trait of power, which is more transient, it's neurophysiological, it doesn't last as long in terms of the adaptations, we could focus on those adaptations within the few months right before competition. So for an athlete like that, I think the linear periodization model may apply a little bit better. Again, there's different people with different opinions on this, um, but that's just how I've applied it. 
Some people that I've learned a lot about daily undulating periodization and periodization in general from are the folks over at Mass, the monthly application of Strength Sport. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Uh, I just use their service and learn a lot from it. Dr. Zordo specifically has done a lot of research on the differences between uh, hypertrophy strength power versus hypertrophy power strength and how you can actually maximize your adaptations with daily undulating periodization. So I'll link to this study that he did and to some of his information in the description below as well. And if you want to learn more about how I'm applying this to athletes, you can go ahead and join the strength conditioning study group, especially if you're studying for the CSCS, this group will be really helpful for you. And also follow me on Instagram at the movement system. And if you want to download this daily undulating periodization program for yourself to use, uh, I encourage you to download it, make it your own, put your name on it, make your own exercises, change the sets and reps. Go ahead and click the link in the description below. It'll email it to you automatically and then you can use it and learn from it. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.